Okay, folks, here we go. Now, the purpose, the, the purpose of today's video is to show you that you are no different than the system of the ants and the aphids. The, the only thing that's different is in the system that the ants farm the aphids, in that system, the ants look different than the aphids. In the system that we're in, our keepers, our handlers, they are identical looking to us. They're camouflaged. They're camouflaged. And they lead us straight into the pit. We're led astray. We were all led astray. We're led astray from the beginning. And once you arrive here in your host body, you're led astray until you die. And unless you get converted, until your eye becomes single, then you just become food for that system. I'm going to show you some, this, this video today is going to have some, you know, some tough stuff to deal with. Uh, so I'm prepping you. We're going to watch a little scene from Apocalypto. So just be advised. I'm just going to give you a heads up. I'm not going to do any volume. We'll take all that out. But I just want to show you because I want you to know who your handlers are. The people that make the rules, the people that run the show here, you know, the Hollywood elite, all of them. It's, it's going to blow your mind. So just brace yourselves, okay? Uh, just get ready. Here we go. Let's just do it. Okay, I want to sh I want to show you. Uh, this is a link. It's just you. You can type in Mocha Gala Debbie Harry at the Mocha Gala. I want to show you something. This is a a big party with Marina Abramovic and Debbie Harry and a lot of P elite people from Hollywood. They, they have holes cut in the table, and they have people's heads sticking out through the holes. They have, they have uh, artwork that show people, you know, the, some of the art collections these people have. They have people that are laying down there as cold cuts and food all over their body with the uh, inference that they are the food. You got a person laying there, and they got... A whole spread of cold cuts and cheese and stuff for a buffet on them. What's the inference? I'm going to show you some of those pictures. Let's go look up John and Tony Podesta's artwork. You know, Hillary Clinton's buddies. So here, let's do this. So this is the Mocha Gala. And I'm going to reduce this. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to click on a few pictures so you can see. There's people like Will Ferrell at these events and James Franco, all these artists. But just, just look at this. They all wear these white coats. and Pretty freaky stuff, huh? Pretty bizarre. Let me show you some about... Here they are bringing Debbie Harry in. Now, I want to make a point about this. So here they are walking Debbie Harry into the event. Like, she's some... Uh, you know, what does that remind you of? Does that remind you a little bit of the way that the slaves used to carry the elite around? Like back in the days of the Egyptians and other cultures, they would carry the elite around like that. And the guys that are carrying her, they don't have shirts on. And that's kind of demeaning, don't you think? If you need a job and you, you do event wait stuff. I used to work for a caterer and we had to dress in tuxedos and stuff. And uh, we had to wear black pants, tuxedo shirts, stuff like that. But look at this. These guys have to do this without shirts on like they're slaves. Okay, now remember we're talking about the ant and the aphid thing. So let's look at a couple more pictures. Uh, here's a picture. Here's a cake of Marina Abramovic and coming out through her chest, it looks like a hand shooting the bird, F-U, right out of her chest, where her heart would be shooting the bird. Well, that's nice, Marina. Uh, by the way, y'all, for those of y'all that don't know, Marina Abramovic is a witch. There you go. There's So here's a girl laying there, and she's got cold cuts and lobster and ham and watermelon... 
and the inference is that, that she's what's to eat. This is this is the food source. It's pretty creepy, huh? Pretty whacked out. Let me show you a couple more pictures. Okay, here's a couple more of the waiters. I mean, is that demeaning or is that demeaning? Uh, they're gonna. Someone told me, hey, you got to take your shirt off for this thing and serve everybody shirtless. I'd be like, yeah, see you later. So they're all shirtless like they're slaves, just like the slaves. And here's uh, another cake. Now let me um, let me see if I can pull up Debbie here. There's Gwen Stefani. See, there's some of your well-known people at these things. Gwen Stefani, and then there's Debbie here. And I want to draw particular attention to this right here. Now, remember, I told you, this is what the Lord God, the Lord God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords has shown me as a servant, as an end time harbinger, to warn others, blow the trumpet, warn everybody, that if they don't turn from their sins and their duplicitous nature back to God, then you will have to deal with what's coming. And that's it. That's what I'm here to do. So I'm warning you, and I'm going to give you all the evidence you could possibly need to make that decision. I mean, let's take a look at Debbie Harry again. So here's Debbie Harry. Let's take a look at her face. Debbie Harry looks really scary. Look at her face. That is a creepy look. Now look what she's holding in her hand. She's holding, she just cut out her own heart right there. So this is a likeness of herself, and she's cut out her own heart. See it? She's cut out her own heart, and she's holding it up for the crowd to see. And here's Marina Abramovic. See her? Okay, well, let me go to... The Citra Aqua folder real quick. Now, I'm going to show you what a yoke is for you harness on an oxen. This is called a yoke. I wrote the word Y-O-U and Y-O-U in it. See Debbie Harry? There's a, there's Debbie Harry here and there's Debbie Harry here. There's a double dub Debbie Harry. There's a, so... Speaking of Debbie Harry, there's a, she has a double U. There's a good Debbie, and there's a bad Debbie. Let's see what the bad Debbie's doing. The bad Debbie is cutting out the heart of her other likeness, sacrificing herself to the darkness. To This is what's called the other side, okay? Have you ever heard the joke, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side <laughs> just wait just wait we're gonna we're gonna visit that again in a little while don't forget why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side okay so here debbie harry is holding a, a representation of her own heart that she cut out and, and, the, and they're gonna eat it so that's pretty sick that's pretty twisted stuff just, you know, there's there's a, some pictures of the party. And there's these poor people that wanted to, I guess, be employed or be part of this sick, twisted crowd. I, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, if that was your job, and I don't know why you would do that. That's where I'd walk away from the job. But anyway, so there it is. So these are the rulers. These are like the ants, okay? And... These are like the ants that rule over the aphids. Like that last video I just showed you. There is a system of control in which a group was led away captive, a.k.a. a bunch of angels. Now, I want you to associate the word star with angels because it says in Daniel 12, those who are wise shall shine like the stars. And the word stars means princes. Okay, because stars refer to princes in heaven. So just think of a five-pointed star as a prince. And I'm going to show you some symbology of that in just a little while while we go through these folders. So anyway, so here, here is the sacrifice of herself. Now, 
Let's take a look at the ant and the aphid system. So I'm just going to turn the volume all the way down. And so here's the system. There's a bunch of ants that have carried away the aphids. They are farming the aphids. They grab them. They take them back to the nest. And the, the ants are carried away captive. And then once they get into the system, the aphids start harvesting the honeydew off the ants. Now, I want you to stop and consider. There is a bottomless pit. There is a bottomless pit. It's in the Bible, Revelation 9. And when the angel opened the bottomless pit, out of the pit there arose smoke, and out of the smoke there came locusts upon the earth with tails like scorpions that sting men, and men will seek death and will not find it. So we know that a pits can open up. Think of that as the other side. The pits can open up, and out of the pits come in a bunch of locusts on top of this, in this dimension that we're in. And these locusts from the pit, other side, are going to sting men. Men will seek death and will not find it. They'll desire to die, and death will flee from them. Sounds horrifying. So picture this as the other side of the pit. You have something going on. You have a bunch of stuff being raised and birthed down here. Picture everyone's soul that dies above ground goes to the pit unless you get converted. And it gets used as food, just like that honeydew from the aphids, to produce another race from the pit. And so here we go. So here are the, here are the ants being the masters over the aphids. They're farming them, and then they're going to suck up the honeydew. And I'm, I'm just waiting for a little image of them doing that. They're going to suck up the honeydew from the aphids, and that's what the ants live on. It is the energy source, which, which there it is, right there. Okay, let's, let's get it right there. Okay, now I want you to take a very close look at this. Here is an ant's mandibles going around a droplet of honeydew. Okay? Just there, there you go. There it is. So there is the ant collecting what he wants from his slave. Okay? That's exactly what you're looking at. The ant collecting what he's after from the slave. Okay, well, let me show you something real quick. Let's drop this down and let me open up this other folder. Okay, so y'all remember that largest altar in the world, right? Well, first, let's look at the outside of the Vatican. The Vatican is a snake wearing a crown. The mouth of the snake right here, that mouth right there on the inside, on the inside of the building, is this window right here. So the mouse, the, the opening to the mouth of the serpent is, is, this, is this whole thing. Now there's a bunch of angels being carried away captive. They got tricked. And they're, they're all melting. Look, they're all melting into this substance that's flowing down the side of this chair. And these two angels right here are holding a crown. There you go. See the two oppose, opposite facing angels? And they're holding a crown that's on top of this chair. You see that? That is the seed coming out of the tip of a penis into the female vagina. And this is all semen flowing down the side of that chair, which is actually... A penis. Now, the reason, I, it, the reason I want you to see this again is because this is the exact same thing as a honey as a honeydew ant. Watch, it's no different. So, now let's clearly identify everything. I'll slide this diagram of a penis right over here. Boom! There's the penis shooting a seed. The seed is a crown because that's how Satan crowned his kingdom. But now, when you turn this upside down, this dead sheep, this whole thing is a dead sheep. This whole image is a dead sheep. 
And when you turn this dead sheep upside down, it becomes the female reproductive system. So I'll take this image right here and put it right here. It's the female reproductive system. There's no doubt about it. We've identified it clearly. And I'll take this image of a serpent's mouth and I'm just going to put it right on this anatomical drawing of a vagina. There you go. So if anyone doesn't understand what I just did, I took the building called the Vatican right here. I showed you it's a snake and the mouth of the snake is right there. There's the mouth of the snake. Let's go to the inside of the building and the mouth of the snake is a vagina when you turn the altar upside down. There it is. So I turn the altar upside down. Isaiah said, those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them and know what they're doing. They turn everything upside down. Let me show you something about the serpent symbolism in ancient cultures. The serpent or snake is one of the oldest and most widespread mythological symbols. The word is derived from Latin serpents, a crawling animal or snake. Snakes have been associated with some of the oldest known rituals of humankind and represent dual expression. Okay, there you go. Spiritual belief that two fundamental concepts exist which often oppose each other. It is an umbrella term that covers the diversity of views from various religions, including both traditional and scriptural religion. Okay, now, the, so the serpent res, represents dual expression of what? Good and evil. Wow. Remember this. For example, the Hopi people of North America performed an annual snake dance to celebrate the union of snake youth. See this right here? They, so they used to do a dance to celebrate the union of snake youth. What snake youth? Let me show you what snake youth is. A sky spirit and snake girl, an underworld spirit to renew the fertility of nature because on this system that you're caught in, the host body system, like I've been telling you repetitively, is a cannibalistic, self-cannibalizing system that takes an angel, a sky spirit, traps it in a host body with a demonic spirit, and it self-cannibalizes because the host body itself is evil, okay? But the host body houses a spiritual being that got trapped within that system. Now watch, I'm just going to prove this out again and again. So let's read that one more time. For example, well, like, you know what, let's, let's read this part. Snakes have been associated with some of the oldest rituals known to humankind and represent dual expression of good and evil. Wow, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which is the human host body. Now, let's see. And the Hopi people of North America performed an annual snake dance to celebrate the union of snake youth. A sky spirit and a snake girl underworld spirit. So look, what do you get? You get a, a sky spirit right there. You get a, a sky spirit and a snake girl underworld spirit to renew the fertility of nature. And this all surrounds around like Mother Earth. The snake dance is a prayer to the spirits of the clouds. Let me tell you what the word study of clouds is. Nephology, you know, like Nephilim. Just look it up, study of clouds, Nephology. The snake dance is a prayer to the spirits of the clouds, the thunder and the lightning and the rain that may fall on the growing crops and other cultures Snakes symbolize the umbilical cord, okay, the umbilical cord, joining all humans to Mother Earth, the great goddess. See, there you go. Because Mother Earth itself is the mother goddess system, as I've been telling you. Same exact thing. So, there we go. 
Now you know what the serpent stands for. It stands for a dual expression of good and evil. And it stands for a sky spirit, a sky spirit, and a snake girl underworld spirit joined together. Let's go back and look at those pictures we were just looking at. So what do, what do we have here? We have, in this image right here, you have angels, sky spirits. There you go. There you have sky spirits, angels, and they're being joined together with female underworld mother goddess, female rival. There it is. So, let me just... There we go. So you have angels being joined together through the female reproductive system, which is the serpent. There it is. I mean, you know, let's just be real here. There you go. And so that's how they were joined together. Okay, now let me show you the system again. Now, remember this altar right here, this altar right here, this is when you turn it right side up, the whole thing is this dead sheep right here. There's the eye, there's the eye, there's nostril, nostril, there's the teeth, and his tongue is sticking out. So when you turn this dead sheep upside down, it becomes a female reproductive system. There it is. I'm going to drop this one down to here, and I've, I've lightly colored it in pink to outline the female reproductive system, just to make it really easy for you to see. Okay, now we're going to we're going to zoom out on that altar. We're gonna, we're going to go way further backwards. We're going to go way back here. And my goodness, would you look what that altar turns into? That altar turns into a giant bug and the penis is ejaculating into the mouth of the bug and all that semen that's running down the side of that altar is being harvested by that big bug does that remind you of anything does that remind you of anything I've shown you recently that there is a group that were taken hostage which is us from the sky and we get trapped in host bodies and then they harvest something from us where the energy comes from what are they harvesting well this one's harvesting honeydew from an aphid but what's being harvested right here? Well, that's a penis. What comes out of a penis is sperm and semen. And so then let's just go back and take a look at this again. And let me just give you a perfect example. So just to prove it again, I will take this image of a bug with mandibles. And I will just put it right on top of that altar. Do, do, do. There it is. I, I like the way they did the piping on the walls to make the antennas. Good job. So... So there you have a large bug, and that, bu that bug is harvesting this. And I'm going to show you uh, just the very, very, I'm going to be very blunt about this. That is a penis ejaculating into the female reproductive system. There's the crown that crowned the serpent's kingdom, which is the flesh. And here is all the semen running down the side of the penis. Okay, there it is. Now, when you zoom out and the whole darn thing becomes a big bug, then you you've clearly identified the system now. So here's a here's an ant, just like the ants in the aphid, and I'm going to take this ant and I'm going to put it right there on that altar. Do what is the difference? What? Well, okay, so I'm going to enlarge all that. There you go. What is the difference here? Well, here's a picture of an ant that's harvesting honeydew. I'll put it right over that window. And there it is. I put it in the same place as the altar of St. Peter. And that is exactly what the altar of St. Peter is. It's the exact same thing. Just take a look at the picture I'm showing you. Ant with a penis and semen largest altar in the world and then here's an ant harvesting honeydew is there any difference okay now you know why this girl has a tattoo on her vagina that's got eyes like an ant and mandibles going down to her vagina because her tattoo is identical to this system
she is working for that system, whether knowingly or unknowingly, does it matter? There's those that know and there's those that don't know. The ones that know what's going on are like this person right here, Debbie Harry and Marina Abramovic, that like to make cakes of themselves and eat the heart of the cake. Okay, well, let me show you a video and I'm going to put this over here. We're going to take Debbie Harry. Now, you remember all the people, all the people that are at the party that are the waiters and such, what are they? They're all shirtless like a bunch of slaves, just like a bunch of slaves, carrying her around and serving the food, and people with their heads popping up through the table, people with cold cuts all over their body, and just some very sick, twisted stuff because that's that the elite know what they're doing they know that they are cannibalizing the energy inside the host body system they are willing participants of the underground race that is running them they're sold out to it and they're in league and concert with it you understand so they're your masters and they they keep you asleep remember rihanna wearing the upside down cross it says control minds. Why do you think the cross is upside down? Because you're upside down. That's why. And that's how they control you because you don't know what the hell is going on. Here, I've got a bottle of wine here. Los dos. See the two intersecting circle with the devil horns at the bottom? Yeah. Not much of a drinker, but I saw that and I thought I should hold on to it. Okay, so now let's watch this. Let's watch a sacrifice scene from Apocalypto. And we're just going to watch a little short segment of it. I think it's important to watch it, though. Um, here we go. I'll get rid of it. Let's, let's watch this. Here we go. So they're, they want to renew the earth. Let us appease with the sacrifice. So they're going to drag this guy over, and right before they kill him, they turn him upside down and say, watch. They flip him over. There is a little elite rat. And so they're going to plunge a knife into his chest, just like Debbie Harry plunged a knife into her own resemblance, and boom! And then they cut the guy's heart out. Now, before that, well, let's get back to this for a sec. I want to see that. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay, you see what's on this guy's head? See the two circles? Okay, you see the two circles? Uh, los dos. There you go. Okay. So, here you go. He's going to pull his heart out and show it to the crowd. And they, they, their sun worshippers, don't forget... Like just all the elite are too. So there he is. Hey, here's his burning heart. Here's his beating heart. And so now all the slaves are going to jump around. Yay. And then they're going to cut his head off and roll his body down. Yep. They're going to burn his heart. And now they're going to cut his head off. And they're going to throw his body down. All the steps. Boom. And... Okay, boom, chop off the head. Now let's throw that down the stairs. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all remember the Scion commercial, don't you? Uh, for those of y'all that watch this channel, remember the Scion commercial with the little deviants? Cuts off the head of the sheep, remember? That makes me want to buy a Scion right away. <laughs> okay, so... We just saw this. Let's go back to this guy holding the heart up. And I'm sorry, just... There we go. So, let's see. Okay, see this? Take a very good look at that right now. Take a good look at it. Take a nice, hard, long look at that. Take... He's holding the heart up. He's presenting it to the crowd. Let me show you this really just deranged, sad 
sold out person name Debbie Harry. There you go. Let's go ahead and enlarge that because she's represent. There you go. So there you go, Debbie. Wow, Debbie. You know what? If I was to, if I was to take this picture of you and shove it up into this video, can somebody tell me the difference between Debbie Harry and this Aztec guy cutting out someone's heart? Yeah. Pretty creepy, huh? There you go, Debbie. Lovely. I'm sure your mom's very proud of you. <laughs> just so laughed out. Okay. So now, these people are the elite. They're your handlers. They're the ones making fun of you. They know that there's a double U. Look at the way that, look at the way that a yoke is set up you know what now watch this now i told you i'm going to show you that you were carried away captive so i'm going to show you jeremiah jeremiah is an exact representation of the garden of eden exactly perfect exactly to show you what happened so here's debbie harry look there's two debbie harry's there's a double dub double debbie harry that's one reason they like using the letter w because they they like to mock you with it here is Taylor Swift. Look what you made me do. Look at Taylor Swift at the, I think it was a VMA, yeah, VMA music video premiere. Look what uh, Taylor Swift is standing in front of, or standing in between. Let me let me take this up. Oh, is Taylor Swift standing in front of you and you, a double you? Where did she get that from? How does she know what I know? Let's go to let's go to Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah, the word Jeremiah means Yah will rise from the Lord after Nebuzadaran, Nebuzadaran, the the captain, ready? The captain, it means abundant, size, age, rank, or anything. The captain of look, the guard. Properly, the a butcher, because as acting as an executioner. Weird. Let's go back. Oh, <laughs> you mean like that, or you mean like Miss Debbie Harry, like right there? Oh, weird. That fits perfectly, doesn't it? Okay, let's go back now. Okay, so let me go to this one. Okay, let's go back to the Bible, because the Bible is going to explain it all. Okay, the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah from the Lord after Nebuzadaran, the captain, the abundant butcher, uh, because or executioner, let him go from Ramah, which means, look at the word Ramah, let him go from Ramah, a height, a high place, like, you know, same as Ezekiel, 28 Lucifer when he was cast down and uh, Isaiah 14 how art thou fallen from the heights okay so he let him go from Ramah from the heights when he had taken it means to mingle to accept to receive to take taken him being bound oh my lord wait a minute what does that say right there? To yoke or hitch. By Look, y'all know what a yoke is? To yoke or hitch. By analogy to fashion in any sense. Join, battle, bind fast. Look at the first two words, yoke or hitch. It's, oh my gosh. You mean like Taylor Swift who knows what's going on. Standing in front of a W because a yoke does make a double U, doesn't it? Y'all know who Dionne Word is, right? I showed you her alien video. Have you watched Fatty Fatty Boom Boom where Lady Gaga bursts a locust? Let me see if I put it right here. No, it's in another folder. But let me just show you an image I want you to get in your mind. <coughs> you see the letter U and the letter U right inside this yoke? There is a double U because you're yoked together 
with your good and evil twin system. There's a good you and there's a bad you. There's a double, a double you. Let's, now let's take the Roman numeral five and the num, Roman numeral five. You know, like Nixon, oh, I did not do. <laughs> okay, so ready? Boom, what does it make? It makes a the letter W. What do all the gang guys do? They're all like, yeah. All the rappers that think they're cool. What are they doing? Double U. Double U. Because you're in this binary system, male and female, there's good you and there's an evil you. There's right side up you and upside down you. And until you get made single, you're going to go to the pit and you're going to be food for a bunch of bugs. Because they're harvesting you. They're harvesting your soul. See, double U, letter, the Roman numeral B, Roman numeral B, intersecting makes a W. Now let me show you something. Let's just, let's have some fun. Let's bust them. Okay, so let's do Google Images. Let's do Marina Abramovic Spirit Kicking. There we go. Okay, so... Here we go. So she does her little, she does her little thing where she, she does her little thing where she writes on the wall with blood, semen, and breast milk. Blood, semen, and breast milk. What a lovely concoction. Look, look at what, look at what this is. Look at the W when she starts her whole spell with W with two intersecting V's. Do you get it? With, with a sharp knife, cut your middle finger. Do you get it? Cut your middle finger. Ever see John Podesta with his band-aid on his finger? Let's see. Because he goes to her parties, you know, Hillary Clinton's boy. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there you go, with a sharp knife. Here you go. Here's another one. Let's just look. Look at the W. That's two intersecting V's. She had to pick her brush up. Uh, I'm an artist. When you go like that, you pick your brush up and you make another one. So she purposely starts it. Look, W, W, intersecting V, intersecting V, five and five. So there she is. So here she is, W. Uh-huh. Here she is. Same thing. W, see? That they're hiding it in plain sight. And what it represents is a right side up star and an upside down star. The right side up star represents one of God's, and the upside down one represents one of Satan's in the same system. That's why when I showed you that thing of H.R. Geiger with the female reproductive system, one star is right side up, one star is upside down, one's right side up and white. One's upside down in black, and they're in the same system. He's got it right. That they, they, These occultists know what's up. And they're your handlers. They're the ants in the system, and you're the eighth thing. You just don't know what's going on. You've just been... That's why Rihanna wears a shirt with an upside-down cross that says Control Minds. Okay? So let's see. Let's see where we're at. We got that. We got that. That's some creepy stuff. Debbie Harry is the same as... A guy from ancient, like ancient Mayan guy, cutting out someone's heart. And let's see, what else did they do? So let's let's see, what else did they do? So they cut out the guy's heart. Oh, look at that. Look at Gwen Stephanie. Creepy. So Gwen, you're one of them. Look at Debbie. Oh, lovely. What a lovely group of people. I, you know, she must think a lot of herself. She's got a diamond encrusted package there. Nice, Debbie. So anyway, so let's see. Okay, Mocha Gala, let me see. I'm going to drop this. What else did they do in this Mocha Gala thing? Well, they have a bunch of people with, yeah. They have a bunch of people with their heads sticking up through the middle of the tables. See? It's it, not on one table, on all the tables. See that girl? That girl is different than that girl. 
is different than that girl is different than that girl is different than that girl. So obviously, there's a bunch of people with their heads sticking up in the middle of these tables. And here are the people that you see that you think are cool in the movies. Look, look at it, look at it. See, know that guy? That's a singer. Just, you know, just go poke around and just like click on some buttons and see who all's there. Yeah, absolutely. There's a bunch of, there's a bunch of people you thought were cool and there they all are. There's Beyonce and Oh yeah, Jay Z and James Franco and all kinds of people you'd be really interested in looking at. Just go type it in yourself. These are the people. Oh, Owen Wilson. There's Owen Wilson. Everybody like Owen Wilson? He's one of them. He's one of the ants. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, but I wanted to make the point. A bunch of heads, right? All the heads on the table. Where did we see that? Weird. Hang on one sec, guys. Let me try and get that. Let me try and get that thing back up real quick. Okay, so besides cutting off their cutting out their heart, the other thing they do is they cut off the guy's head and they throw his head down. Two. There you go. There goes the head down. And then look. So let's catch it in some weird thing. Now, is there is there any difference between that and this thing? There's all these people's heads. And Debbie Harry had her heart cut out her own heart. Okay. I'm going to make this a short little video. Then I'm going to show you why the chicken crossed the road. The next video, I'm going to do it today. I'll just, I'll, I'll crank it out today. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Okay? So we'll do that one next. I want to make sure this equipment is functioning properly. So you see how the, your handlers are making fun of you all the time? Sick. What do you think is going on with the Democrats in this whole government thing? The Democrats are them. And when I say that, what I mean is the upper echelon of the Democratic Party, as well as the Republican Party, they're all the same. Red team, blue team. It's a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Kids. And the smoke and mirrors is being run by the, the angel of the bombless pit. When I do that, at this fingers down, I told everybody there's I cut my tendon, destroyed this finger, and it doesn't really close up. So if I point down and it's like that, don't be old click shooting a devil horns, you bozo. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought I'd expose the devil and shoot the devil horn. And people just do that. I'm like, what a just shut up. Get a life. Did you see Click's eyes? <laughs> Oh, they work their sweats. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find it entertaining. It's like, damn, what are you guys on? Okay, so here we go. This is this is just to show you the system. It's no different than ancient Mayan. Rip out the heart, cut off the head. Let's have the Mocha Gala. <laughs> it's what's the difference? There is no difference. What's the difference between the ant harvesting honeydew and the largest altar in the world? Nothing. Okay, so now we're going to do the Citra Accra, which is called the other side. The next video is going to be official mind-blowing overload data. So buckle up. Okay, 
that's it for this one. Let's move on. All right.